What's up guys welcome back to the new video I'm your host Yash from Equity Master trying to make market simpler for you thank you for tuning in every week it means a lot so first things first as many of you already know we just returned from an incredible weekend at Equity Master's most important annual event the annual conference which was held at the iconic Taj Mahal Palace in Mumbai this event was truly one of a kind it brings together some of india's brightest minds to discuss how to navigate the markets share the investment ideas and actually make a real difference in case you weren't able to attend i've covered a short note with the key takeaways from the event do check out the link provided in description below i also want to take a moment to thank everyone who attended and came up to me to share their feedback about my videos it means so much to hear from all of you that these videos are helping you and your encouragement only motivates me to keep doing better now let's get to today's topic for discussion nuclear power stocks before we move on please note that this video is for information purposes only it's not a stock recommendation and should not be treated as such there's no opinion or view on any stock covered herein With that disclaimer out of the way let's get started in today's video i'm going to talk about some nuclear power stocks in india you see india the world's largest electricity producer has recently seen a surge in power demand driven by urbanization the rise of data centers industrial development and a growing population the shift towards electric vehicles and more energy hungry technologies has further increased the need for a robust power infrastructure so what's india doing about it well the country is ramping up electricity generation at the same time it aims to reduce carbon emissions to achieve its ambitious net zero emissions target by 2070 with that in mind india is gradually diversifying its energy mix by experimenting with solar wind and nuclear energy nuclear energy stands out due to its reliable and continuous energy supply it emits minimal carbon emissions and generates high energy from little fuel it also enhances energy security by reducing dependence on fossil and fuel imports the benefits have encouraged countries worldwide to produce more electricity using nuclear power nuclear power is vital for india's energy landscape and it is growing at an impressive rate it's actually doubling the pace of global growth According to the Energy Institute in the United Kingdom in 2023 nuclear power generation in India surged by 4.4% compared to just 2.2% worldwide it has 24 nuclear power reactors which generated 47971 million units in 2024 in the past decade india's nuclear power capacity has skyrocketed over 70% from 4780 megawatts in 2013-14 to 8180 megawatts at present this is expected to grow rapidly in the coming year as the country's power requirements and the demand for net zero emissions grow consequently the government intends to triple this capacity to 22480 megawatts by 2031-32 and it is aiming for a much higher target 100000 megawatts by the year 2047 This ambitious goal requires a closer look at nuclear power stocks. So keeping that in mind, here are the top 5 fastest growing nuclear power stocks you should watch out for in 2025. These companies are filtered using Equity Master's powerful stock screener. The first stock on this list is Amic Forging. Amic Forging specializes in manufacturing open forgings and precision machine components for various industries including nuclear power. It supplies products such as shafts, flanges and gear couplings to the nuclear power industry supporting India's efforts to expand its nuclear energy capacity. The company has an installed capacity of 12600 metric tons and a capacity utilization rate of 85%. The company plans to install a new foundry for casting quality forge ingots induction furnace to increase its capacity further. This will help it cut costs while maintaining the quality of its products. The company has an established design center with the latest 3D software and highly trained technicians. It is known for its time-bound delivery and premium products of its quality. The company delivers its products to reputed clients such as L&T, Jindal Steel and Power and Tata Steel. Coming to Amic Forging's financials, the company has performed exceptionally well over the past 5 years. Its sales have grown at a compounded annual growth rate of 68% in the last 3 years, while the profits have grown even better at a CAGR of 191%. The company has also seen an impressive return on equity growth which currently stands at 21%. This demonstrates its ability to efficiently generate profits from shareholders' equity. 
Overall, Amic Forge's specialized manufacturing capabilities and strategic positioning makes it a key player in supporting and advancing India's nuclear power initiatives. Here's how the company's stock price has performed over the past one year. Moving on, the second stock on this list is Venus Pipes and Tubes. Venus Pipes is a leading Indian producer of stainless steel pipes and tubes. Its products are divided into seamless and welded pipes which account for 57% and 33% of its revenue respectively. To cater to the needs of nuclear power, Venus Pipes also manufactures value-added premium products like Hygiene SS and Titanium Grade Tubes. Venus Pipes generates 88% of its revenue from the domestic market while the remainder of the revenues comes from the exports. Venus Pipes serves various sectors including oil and gas, dairy, defense, aerospace and nuclear power. The company's clientele comprises of 58 Fortune 500 companies which includes the likes of Adani Group, LNT, Amul and ITC. Over the years, Venus Pipe's production capacity has increased multifold. The seamless pipe capacity rose from 3,600 metric tons per annum in financial year 23 to 9,600 metric tons per annum in financial year 24, while the welded pipe capacity during the same period has grown from 8,400 MTPA to 24,000 metric tons per annum. The company recently inaugurated a capacity for 14,400 metric tons per annum for mother hollow pipes. Venus Pipes has also outlined plans to further increase seamless and welded pipe capacity by 2025, targeting the growing needs of sectors like nuclear power generation. The company is gearing up for the next growth phase through this planned expansion. Its nuclear facilities, high-quality stainless steel pipes and tubes are essential for critical applications such as heat exchangers, coolant systems and structural components where durability and resistance to corrosion are paramount. Coming to Venus Pipes financials, over the past five years, the company has achieved impressive financial results. The company's sales have increased at a compounded annual growth rate of 46%, while its net profits have grown even better at an CAGR of 87%. As power consumption rises and the push for zero emissions intensifies, the demand for steel pipes will increase which will thereby create opportunities for companies like Venus Pipes. Here's how its stock price has performed over the past one year. Moving on, the third stock on this list is Kilburn Engineering. Kilburn specializes in designing, manufacturing and commissioning customized process equipment including dryers, coolers, fabricated equipment and heat transfer systems. The company's products are supplied to various sectors and industries like chemicals, steel, petrochemicals, food processing and nuclear power. Its clientele includes Reliance, Bale, ONGC, Gale, Lupin, Sipla, ITC, Tata Chemicals and LNT. 85% of the company's revenue comes from the domestic market while the remainder comes from the exports, which it exports to countries like Germany, US, Thailand and Brazil. Kilburn Engineering offers equipment such as air cooling units for nuclear reactors in the nuclear sector. It helps manage and regulate air temperatures ensuring optimal operation conditions and safety standards. It also supplies heavy water vapor recovery systems for nuclear power plants which help recover and recycle heavy water. Coming to its financials, over the past five years, the company's sales have surged at a CAGR of 18% while its net profit have grown even better at a 54% CAGR, reaching 50 crores in financial year 2024. Additionally, the company's return on equity has risen exponentially from 2.2% in financial year 23 to 22% in financial year 24, indicating strong returns for shareholders. Several factors suggest growth opportunities for this company going forward. First, it's expanding through inorganic means. In 2024, the company acquired one factory unit which it expects will generate about 100 crore in revenue. It also bought ME Energy, which specializes in tailored energy saving heatings and cooling solutions. The company is also reducing its leverage, successfully reducing its net debt from 115 crores in financial year 20 to just 47 crores in financial year 24. It aims to be net debt free by the end of this financial year. This reduction is anticipated to lower interest costs and expenses positively impacting its bottom line. To fund this acquisition and reduce its net debt, Kilburn Engineering recently raised Rs 300 crores to preferential allotment of shares at Rs 425 per share. At the end of September 2024, the company reported a consolidated order book of Rs 350 crores. It anticipates this figure to increase to Rs 500 crores by the end of financial year 2025, resulting in an order book to sales ratio of approximately 1.5.
Kilburn's revenue is projected to rise in the medium term thanks to a diverse product portfolio, its broad client base, a robust order book and the ongoing expansion of its efforts. Here's how its stock price has performed in the past one year. Moving on, the fourth stock on this list is MTAR Technologies. MTAR Technologies is an Indian precision engineering company with a market presence of more than 50 years. It specializes in manufacturing critical components and assemblies for sectors such as clean energy which includes civilian nuclear power, space, defense and aerospace. The company has over four decades of experience serving customers in the civilian nuclear power segment. This sector contributes 6% to its revenue while 70% of its revenue comes from space, defense and clean energy segments. The domestic market generates 74% of its revenue currently while the remainder comes from its exports. MTAR supplies fuel machining heads for civilian nuclear reactors. It also manufactures bridge and column structures including ceiling plugs, shielding plugs, liner tubes and fittings, nuclear headers and vessels for the nuclear segment. It has also developed special hollow ball screws for the nuclear power plants with an in-house facility to design, manufacture and test them. MTAR has a long list of reputed clients including the ISRO, Defence Research and Development Organisation and the National Power Corporation of India with which it has had a strong relationship for more than 16 years. Coming to MTAR's financials, over the past 5 years, its sales have grown at its compounded annual growth rate of 26% while its profit growth hasn't been much remarkable. Its profit have grown at a CAGR of only 7% during the same period. As of September 2024, MTAR Technologies has a well-diversified order book worth Rs 940 crores of which 15% comes from the civil nuclear power segment. This order book is expected to grow to Rs 1400 to 1500 crores by the end of financial year 25 with the nuclear segment contributing to around Rs 650 crores. In December 2024, MTAR received an order worth Rs 226 crores in the clean energy segment and the aerospace segment which it has to execute by April 2026. The company is well positioned due to its strong presence in emerging sectors such as clean energy including space and nuclear energy. This along with a strong order book is expected to keep its revenue growth firm in the future. Here's how its stock price has performed in the past one year. Moving on, the last stock on this list is Power Mac Projects. Power Mac Projects deals with industrial construction, infrastructure development and power generation. It is a leading infrastructure company in the country and has recently emerged as a strong contender in the nuclear power sector. In May 2024, Power Mac Projects marked its foray into the nuclear power segment by securing its first major contract worth Rs 560 crores from none other than Bharat Heavy Electricals or as popularly known as BAIL. It will conduct civil works at the Kaiga Atomic Power Project in Karnatak for the Nuclear Power Corporation of India. This also includes constructing turbine buildings, auxiliary structures and associated facilities essential for the nuclear power plant operation. The contract will be completed over the next 32 months with a 12 month service guarantee. The project includes civil, structural and architectural work for two 700 megawatts of pressurized heavy water reactors. This will boost the Kaiga plant capacity from 880 megawatts to 2280 megawatts. Over the past 7 years, Power Mac project's revenue has grown at a compounded annual growth rate of 18%. At the same time, its profit have risen even faster at a CAGR of 21%. This demonstrates a strong capacity to convert revenue into profits. The company's average return on equity and return on capital employed stand at 12% and 22% respectively. As India expands its nuclear energy initiatives, the number of upcoming contracts is increasing. There's a growing speculation that Power Mac projects may secure additional contracts in the nuclear energy sector, besides the one it has already with Bale. Moreover, as India and Russia seek to strengthen the nuclear partnership, Power Mac projects, given its extensive experience in the infrastructure sector, is poised to gain advantages. Here's how the company's stock price has performed in the past one year. So there you go guys, these were some of the fastest growing nuclear power stocks that you could track in 2025. Here's an exhaustive list that you can still keep tracking as the year progresses. In conclusion, the demand for clean energy sources to combat climate change is increasing. Nuclear power stands out as the cleanest energy source globally. But its contribution still remains limited accounting for just 3% of India's electricity generation. However, this is likely to evolve in the coming years as India works to lessen its reliance on 
on fossil fuels. This shift presents a significant growth opportunity for companies directly and indirectly associated with the nuclear power sector. However, investors must know that each investment carries its own set of risks. Therefore, it's essential to conduct due diligence and select only the fundamentally strong companies for your portfolio. Investors should evaluate these companies' fundamentals, corporate governance and the valuations as key factors when conducting due diligence. That's it for today guys. Don't forget to like this video and share it with like-minded investors and make them smart as you are. Do check out the vast library of content that we've created over the past 5 years. Our only goal is to simplify stocks for you so that you can grow 1% each day. This is Yash Vora from Equity Master. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.